Lesson 1. Finding a Classroom. 1. Do you mind helping me? What can I help you with? I'm not sure how to find my next class. Do you know what building that's in? The C building, I think. Well, that's not far away. Could you point me in that direction? Do you know what the room number is? It's C261. My next class is around there. Can you show it to me? Sure, let's go. Great. Lesson 2, Finding a Classroom, 2. Could you help me? What do you need? I can't seem to find my class. What building is it in? It's in the C building. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Do you think you can tell me where it is? Sure. What room number is it? It's room number 261. I have a class around there right now. Could you show me where it is? No problem. Come on. Lesson, Lesson three. 1. Finding, finding a classroom. A classroom. Three. 3. Excuse me. I need your assistance. Sure. What's up? I have no idea where my class is. Tell me which building it's in. My class is in the C building. I know where the C building is. Do you mind telling me where it is? Of course. Which room number is it? Number 261. I actually have a class right around there. Can you please show me? I can do that. Lesson 4. Where to buy lunch? 1. Let's have some lunch. Do you know of a great restaurant somewhere? Yes, I'm hungry. What types of food sound good? Maybe just a quick sandwich, salad or something. I have a great idea of where you might like to go. Can we walk there? It's on the second floor. May I join you? Of course. Let's go. Let's hurry. I'm starving. Lesson 5. Where to buy lunch? 2. Hi, could you help me find a place where I could buy some lunch? Sure. What kind of food would you like? I was thinking of pizza or something else Italian, maybe. I know the perfect place. Good. Where is it? It's right past the last building on the left. Do you want me to go with you? That would be great. Glad you asked me to join you. This will be fun. Lesson 6. Where to buy lunch? 3. Man, I'm hungry. Do you know a good place to have lunch? Yes, I know a great place. What type of food do you like? Mexican, Japanese, or Chinese would be great. Oh, I know a place where you might like to eat. Is it close by? It's down a block on the right. Can I show you the way? Okay, I'd love the company. This will work out well. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Lesson 7. Grading Policy 1. How do you decide what grade we get? I look at many things. Attendance, quizzes, and tests. What is the most important factor? Obviously, I look for improvement as we go along, but I would like you to do your best from the beginning. How can we keep track of our grades? The final and midterm are 40% of your grade. Homework, attendance, and quizzes total 60%. What if we can't get to school? You can only miss one class without penalty. If we have a major problem, will you let us know? I will be letting you know during the year if you have a major problem. Lesson 8, Grading Policy 2. I was wondering how you were going to calculate our final grades. Grades are based on many things. Homework, attendance, quizzes, midterm, and final. What counts the most? Actually, I look at all of it, and let's not forget class participation. Do you grade on a curve or use percentages? Homework, attendance, and quizzes are 60%. 
The midterm and final are worth 20% each. What if we miss something? I will allow one unexcused absence. After that, you need to contact me ahead of time. Will you tell us if we are failing during this year? You will be able to track your progress during the year. Lesson 9, Grading Policy 3. What do you base our grades on? All of the coursework is important, including everything from attendance and homework to all of your test results for this semester. Does the final count the most? All of it is important. Please just do your best at all times. How do you total our scores? The final and midterm are 20% each. Homework, attendance, and quizzes are the rest. What if we are out sick? Make sure you contact me as I will only allow one unexcused absence. How can we know if we are doing okay during the year? Your grade will not be a surprise. You will know what you need to work on. Lesson 10, talking to a counselor, 1. I was supposed to meet with you at 1.30. Yes, I see. What did you need to see me about? There's a problem with my schedule. What's the problem? Two of my classes occur at the same time. Well, I can see that's a problem. Is it at all possible for you to fix that error? Yes, I can. Would you still like to have both of these classes? I want to keep both of them, if that's possible. Well, let me find you one of these classes on a different day. Thanks a lot. Lesson 11, talking to a counselor, 2. I have an appointment for 1.30. What can I help you with? Well, I have a problem with my class schedule. What is it? It seems that I've been given two classes scheduled at the same time. I can understand the problem with that. Is there any way that you can fix my schedule? No problem. Do you want those classes still? Yes, I do. Let me see if I can find one of these classes on another day. Thank you very much. Lesson 12, talking to a counselor, 3. I'm here for my appointment. What can I do for you today? I have an issue with my schedule. Tell me the problem. I have two classes on here that are at the same time. Oh, I see. Can you change that for me? Do you still want both classes? Yes, I would like to keep both classes. I'll try to change one to a different day. I would greatly appreciate that. Lesson 13, returning overdue books, 1. My library books are late. Where can I put them? This is where they need to be turned in. Let me see them to check the date, okay? Yeah, I think that they are really late. Not all that late. You only owe the library 50 cents. What if I can't pay it? We appreciate you paying off all fines as soon as possible, but always before the end of the semester. Yeah, I get it. Your report card and transcripts will be held until you pay all fines, so always make sure that you do that. That's not really fair. If we aren't here, always feel free to use the night drop outside. Thanks for coming in. Lesson 14, Returning Overdue Books, 2. Can you help me with the returning of my late books? This is the right spot to pay your fee. Put your books down right here. Okay. I can see that you owe 25 cents a day. That will be $1.50 total. Okay, here's the money. We are interested in getting our books back. So as long as all the fines are paid off by the end of the semester, you will be fine. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. Your registration and transcripts can be held up if there is an outstanding fine. Now I understand. Well, you can always keep your late fees down by using the night drop if we are closed. Enjoy the library. Lesson 15, Returning Overdue Books, 
Three. These books should have been turned in last week. You have come to the correct place. Hand me your books. Here they are. Whoa, these are pretty late. You owe five dollars total to clear your fine. I don't have the money right now. We only require that all fines must be paid off by the end of the semester, so you will be okay to go. What would happen if I didn't pay it? It's really important to always clear your fines, so you'll get a report card and transcripts on time. Yeah, but I don't know how they can do that. Always remember that the night drop is here, and we really appreciate you returning your books for all to use. Lesson sixteen: Purchasing a parking permit. One. I want to buy a parking permit, please. Are you a full-time student, or do you attend part-time in the evenings? I attend both day and evening classes. Will you be riding a motorcycle, or do you drive a car? I ride a motorcycle. That permit will run twenty-five dollars. Will that be cash or credit card? I'll use a credit card, thank you. Do you need a second permit for your car? No, just the motorcycle permit. Fine, here it is, and have a great semester. Lesson seventeen: Purchasing a parking permit. Two. I'd like to purchase a parking permit for next semester. Are you a daytime student, or do you just come in the evenings? I am a daytime student. Will you be driving a motorcycle or a car? I will be driving my car. Okay, that will be twenty-five dollars. How would you like to pay for it? I'll pay for it with a check. Would you like to pay for an extra permit for another vehicle? No, thanks. I'm fine. Here you go. Then have a great school year. Lesson eighteen: Purchasing a parking permit. Three. I'll need a parking permit for next semester. Do you attend school during the day, or only at night? I only attend class part time in the evenings. Do you drive a motorcycle or an automobile? I have both, but I usually use my car to get to school. Great. The price for that permit is thirty dollars, cash, check, or credit card. I'll pay cash. Do you need to buy a duplicate permit for a second vehicle? No, thank you. Okay, here is your permit. Enjoy the next semester. Lesson nineteen: Turning homework in late. One. Let me tell you what happened to my homework. Okay, go ahead. What is the the excuse this time? Actually, I did it, but then it got lost. Could you have gotten it done at another time? Yes, I could. You have never missed an assignment before. When will you be making this one up? I'll make it up early next week. That would work, but don't let it happen again. I'll try. That will solve it then. Let's work hard to not let it happen again. Lesson twenty: Turning homework in late. Two. Excuse me, professor. I have to talk to you about why my homework didn't get done. What happened that you didn't get it done? I had to watch a football game instead. Well, you had more than one day. Couldn't you have fit it in on another day? Yes, I think so. Either way, I only allow one missed assignment per semester. When will you be turning the makeup in? I'll make it up next week. Fine, but it cannot happen again if you want an A in the class. Okay, I can do that. Remember that you are in college now, not high school. Lesson twenty-one: Turning homework in late. Three. I don't have my homework today. You usually are good about turning it in. What happened? I was really sick. But couldn't you have done it when you felt better? Yes, I probably could. You have already missed one other assignment. When can I expect the makeups? Next class meeting. That will be soon enough. But make sure you get next week's assignments in as well. All right.
that would work for me. Good. I know that you are capable of being an excellent student. Lesson 22. Discussing your grades with your professor. 1. Professor, I'm concerned about my grades. Do you have a minute? Of course. How can I help you? I want to know if I am doing okay. Let's pull out your score so far. Do you think you are doing okay? I am afraid that I might not be doing all that well. I'm seeing that you are doing okay in some areas, but not so well in others. I think I could take better notes and read a little more. You can greatly improve your grades by always reflecting on what you can improve on. I'm working on it. Just do your best, and I am sure that you will see improvement. Lesson 23. Discussing your grades with your professor. 2. I'd like to talk to you about my grades. Sure. What exactly do you have questions about? I am worried that I messed up on a test. Well, let me take a look at my grade book. How do you think you are doing? I think I'm doing great, except for that one test. Well, your scores show that you could do a little better. What do you think you could improve on? I think that I could study a little harder for tests. Fine. Please remember that regular attendance is the most important way to begin. Yes, I know. I'm sure you'll do fine. Lesson 24, discussing your grades with your professor. 3. Could you talk to me for a few minutes about my grades? Step into my office for a moment. What is your concern? Am I failing? Let's go on the computer to see what's up. Do you think you are doing well? I'm pretty sure that I am in trouble. I can see that you are trying, but where do you think you could improve? I missed a few classes. I need to make sure I come to school on a regular basis. Having a regular study routine and following it is very important, right? I'll try. It's hard. Thanks for stopping by. Lesson 25, Borrowing Class Notes. 1. Let me get last week's notes. Yeah, sure. You didn't come to class that day. I couldn't come. Why not? I wasn't feeling well. Here they are. Thanks a lot. Are these all the notes? Oh, no. This is the rest. Thank you very much. It's no problem at all. Lesson 26, Borrowing Class Notes, 2. Do you have the notes from last week's class? Did you come late? I couldn't make it. Why is that? I was sick. Oh, okay. Well, here you go. Are these all of them? Oh, wait. Here are the rest. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. Lesson 27, Borrowing Class Notes, 3. Do you mind if I borrow the notes from last week? Were you here last week? I was unable to make it. How come? I was sick that day and couldn't make it. Well, here are the notes. Are there any more? Sorry, here you go. Thanks a lot. No problem. Lesson 28, using a vending machine, 1. I want to know how to buy something from this machine. Yeah, the new ones can be tricky. What are you trying to buy? I want to buy one of those snack things. Are you ready to go? I'm clear so far. The money goes in the slot over there. It has to be smooth to go in. It won't go in. Just remember that you might have to feed the money in a couple of times to get it to work. Yes, next step. Make your selection and hope for the best. Vending machines aren't all that reliable. They're totally unreliable. You seem to have it down. Have a good day. Lesson 29, 
using a vending machine, too. Can you help me figure out how to use this vending machine? Yes, I would be happy to help. What do you want to buy? I want to buy that candy. Okay, so this machine will make change if you need it. Do you have your dollars ready? Yeah, so far so good. Next, you feed your dollars into the machine in the slot. Make sure they are smooth. Yeah, I already knew that. I'm sure you know that if the dollar gets stuck, you might have to refeed it. Okay, let's move on. Now you just make your selection and pray. If nothing comes out, try again or call the number on the side of the machine or give it a good whack. I hope it works. Well, good luck. Lesson 30, using a vending machine, 3. I've never seen a machine like this before. I need some help. Sure, no problem. What are you trying to get? I want to buy a drink. Okay, this machine needs you to use the change machine first to get correct change. I've got the correct change already. First you put your money in the dollar slot or the coin slot. The dollars have to be smooth. Okay, what's next? Just know that sometimes the money doesn't go in perfectly the first time and you have to try again. Okay, next. Choose what you want and push the button. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. I agree with you. Hope that works for you. Lesson 31, talking about a professor. One. Would you talk to me about taking one of Dr. Miller's classes? Yes. Have you ever been in one of his classes? I'm thinking about taking his class next semester. He was a very easy teacher. Are you thinking of taking a class with him? I'm not sure because I really need to learn something, but I also worry about grades. Grades are important, but don't you think that gaining the knowledge is important too? I really need to learn this stuff. He made everything so interesting that the time just flew by. Do you know what I mean? Yes, that sounds right for me. Did you know that he came here last year after 10 years in the military? Yeah, I already knew that. That could be a good thing. I think you know that you have to make the best decision for you. Enjoy your year. Lesson 32, talking about a professor, too. Could you tell me if you have ever taken a class from Dr. Miller? Yes. Are you going to be taking a class from him? Yes, but I have never taken his class before. He is very interesting and challenging. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, that's what I need. He is really clear on what you need to learn to get a good grade. Are you willing to study hard? Yes, I guess so. What I really liked about him is that he was an understanding and friendly teacher. Do you enjoy that in a teacher? Yes, I had a teacher like that before. Did you know that he has 20 years teaching experience? No, I didn't, but that could be a good thing. Well, take a look at everything and figure out what is best for you. Good luck. Lesson 33, talking about a professor, 3. Do you know anything about Dr. Miller's classes? Yes, are you in his class? I'm thinking of taking his class next semester. He really knew his stuff, but he graded hard. Would that be okay? Yes, I really need someone who is really good. I didn't find it overwhelming to earn a good grade if you work at it. Can you do that? Maybe, but I'm not sure. Man, this guy was so funny when he was teaching. I like that, don't you? No, that stuff isn't important to me. Did you know that he is a fairly new teacher and very current in his field? I don't care about any of that. We all are looking for different things in an instructor. I hope I've helped you. Lesson 34, talking to professor about leaving early. 
One. I am sorry, but I can't stay until the end of class. Where do you need to be? That is more important than school. I have an appointment. Do you have a plan to make up your missed work? No, but I'll make sure someone helps me out this week with my missed work. Are you going to go right away? I am leaving right now. All right, but please remember that it is your responsibility to catch up. Thanks, Professor. I'll make sure everything gets taken care of. Goodbye, and try not to miss any more school. Lesson thirty-five: Talking to Professor about leaving early. Two. Professor, I am going to need to leave class early today. What's the problem? I need to go to the airport to pick up a relative. Are you planning on having someone take notes for you? Yes, I've got that part covered. Hmm. What exactly do you need to leave? I don't need to leave until the very end of class. Fine. But next time, try and not have to miss the class again. Thanks, Professor. See you later. See you later. Now drive carefully. Lesson thirty-six: Talking to Professor about leaving early. Three. Excuse me, Professor. I have a problem and need to leave class early. Why do you have to leave early? I am not feeling well. Could you make it up by attending my other section this week? Yes, it's all taken care of. Are you leaving right away, or can you stay for a few more minutes? I can stay a few more minutes. Okay, but please make sure that you get all of your makeup work completed. Thanks, Professor. I've got it covered. Go do what you have to do, but make sure it doesn't happen again.